Hey folks, this is Seven here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Maypole Farm. Oh, I'm just doing one of my least liked jobs here. Putting the big roll on our sunflower field. I mean, you wouldn't want the seeds to float away, would you? <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. It is, uh... Well, it's April 1st here on the farm. It is, however, quite the opposite. It is the last day of April here in real life, I believe. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to run a headland around here. Oopsie. Might have missed a attach. And then I think what I'm going to do just because I love doing this so much. Well, I suppose I could just uh, fire up this is a GPS, eh? Hmm, there's a thought. How about we get on that? Oops. <laughs> there we are. It's Alt C, Control S, Dopey, not the other way around. 24.58 meters. Okay. <laughs> I'm willing to go with that, you know, I really am. Uh, let's set our A. Oh. And there it goes. Let's, uh, set a B. And, uh, We should be good to go. At least with this, I don't have to actually see where I've gone. I just have to figure out which one is the next one over. And, yeah, I can probably do that, you know, nine times out of ten. All right, there we are. Oh, yeah, I do find it... Uh, a little bit of a struggle with the fact that this neither lifts, you know what I mean? Nor does it fold quickly enough that you could just sort of do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like get to the end of the field and start to fold it and turn around and unfold it. Yeah, no, it takes it, uh, you know, the better part of the working day to get unfolded, so. Yeah, I don't know. I would have thought all they would have had to do was make that second set of wheels, you know, droppable. So that they would lift the thing. But, yeah, maybe it's just too darn big and heavy when it's unfolded to be lifted. See, now these lines aren't meeting. Huh. Oh, well. I guess we're going to have a, a meter long strip or so of uh, unfold or unrolled goodness. Let's get her cranked around. Now, once we're done up here, we're going to fold this thing up and drag it down to the, uh, the beginnings of our next big plant, which is, of course, our super huge cornfield. We still have to seed it, but the seeder's already there. I did run that down there. So it's kind of been sitting there for a day or so. Full of seed, full of fertilizer, full of everything except a tractor to pull it and someone to drive said tractor. But we'll get on that, and that's going to be a job that's going to take a while. It might even be uh, the entire day. Yeah, we can't swing that wide with this thing, I'm afraid. <laughs>
because she's a beefy one. Oh yeah, I guess our two days of beautiful, brilliant sunshine are uh, coming to an end here. We're calling for a few days of rain, and we're supposed to get back to it. So, 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 look forward to it. And, uh, unfortunately, the uh, first day that was sort of reasonably nice, I did get out and do a bit of scooting about and enjoying the sunshine and sucking in large facefuls of fresh air alien concept after a winter and uh, unfortunately the next two days uh, I just wasn't really well enough to participate in the uh, the ongoing rigors of it so oh, well. the summer is a coming after all There'll be lots of time to get out there and enjoy it. Yeah, I don't know if it's just a, a tie-in with the uh, stupid material disease thing that I've got and puts the uh, the medications to make it better <laughs> well not to make it better to stop it from killing me basically um, but yeah there's uh, often times when I'm incredibly lightheaded like for two or three days at a time and it's not that uh, inner ear syndrome because unfortunately I've suffered for that for most of my life and know how to do the exercises but that's really easy to tell because that's uh, you know one of those things where you lift your head or look from one side to the other and that will cause dizziness this is just a I'm fine when I'm sitting down as soon as I stand up I start to get really lightheaded so it's more like a blood pressure thing And although I do trust myself to still go for my walks when I feel the sun was the worst that's going to happen. I'm only like, you know, five, six if I fall down. It's like, <laughs> there isn't that far to go. You're not likely to get all that hurt. Yeah. If I fall down at 45 kilometers an hour on that freaking scooter. I mean, those things are, you know, they're safe enough. Um... You know, and then you get some amateur nut bar like me modifies the heck out of the thing. You know, adding suspension systems that completely change the geometry and, uh, you know, then upping the power without upping the breakage. And, yeah, it, it, it's one of those deals where I certainly didn't make it safer. It's not really what I set out to do, to be honest with you. But, you know. Okay. So this one, I really don't need the GPS. I'm just missing a, a sort of a little spot here. So we'll take care of that. And, uh... There we are, turn the GPS. And then we'll head down the hill. So yeah, unfortunately, I didn't really, uh... Managed to take that much advantage of our two lovely days after looking forward to them for weeks. I even had the scoot all charged up, tires pumped, ready to go. But the day I did get out, I managed to burn about a quarter of the charge off. So. <clears throat> Alright. We have successfully rolled the field. Man, that's a lot of uh, moaning and groaning and creaking when that thing goes to uh, put itself back in order. See what I mean about maintenance, though? We're already, you know, probably several uh, hundred, if not well over a thousand dollars worth of maintenance. 
going to be needed to take this back up to 100%. Now, I don't know if any or all of that can be attributed to the roller, but I have my doubts. It seems this, uh, this particular JD here is pretty, uh, pretty uppity when it comes to maintenance. Okay, here we are. It's not a long trip, as you can see. Do I actually have an entrance to this field, or would that just be, like, too much to ask for? Hmm. Well, I'd certainly like to have one. But I think what I'd like to do first... ...is borrow this incredibly convenient little pad here. And set upon it Oh uh, well not that actually <laughs> I was more going for this thinking well that didn't go well oh whew, for a minute there I thought it was gonna roll backwards down the hill all right now let's really doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm doing that. Traffic's turned off. So, I think there's... Yeah, there's our cedar. I think there's an entrance up here. Is there not an entrance? There's not an entrance up here, is there? There's just an entrance from the other field up here. Oh no, here we go. So you come in through here. Okay. That's, that's fine. At least I know. Then I won't bother uh, punching another one in. That's basically what I was going to do. And then use uh, Mr. Sooty Farmer's idea of kind of using the paint thing to put a bit of dirt out on the curb part here toward the road so you'd know where it was. So I think that's why I keep missing this one. There's not a lot to distinguish it from the ground just prior or just past it. So, all right. I think, um, I believe the far edge is a perfectly straight line, if I remember rightly. So, we are set to sunflower. That's probably not what we want. I'm thinking, uh... There we are. The beauty of having a drill that does both uh, seeding and planting. Okay, now... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. I was on the wrong... The wrong tool for the second part of the job. And I'm thinking that thing's like way nice and fat, but it's not. It, well, it is a big cedar, but not when you look at the particular field we're dealing with. Okay, you've just made a right bomb of that, dude. Good lord. What are you doing? There we go. We'll even make it really easy on you and flip the whole thing upside down. Okay. So now, sure, 
that looks pretty good. Let's Alt C and Control S ourselves into a track here. Eight meters. Yep, that's exactly uh, exactly right. Let's set an A. A. What's wrong with this picture? That's obviously not right. Don't heck that is. Okay. Why is it? doing that. Hmm? It's not what I want. Come on. I thought that was the whole idea of setting the lines yourself. Turns them on exactly the same bloody spot. change anyway. <laughs> A and B, okay, set A. Okay. Set B. There we go. Kind of. Ugh. Why is it off? And can I change that? I thought you kind of could. Um. doing anything. Let's go back to what it was. Hmm. That's, uh, not gonna do it. Oh, man. This is such a pain in the butt. When it works, it's great. When it doesn't, it's just a freaking nightmare. Well, that's straight this time, at least. So let's go with that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that's just weird. Anyway. Let's, uh... Yep, we're ready to go, I guess. Definitely have a little bit of, uh... <laughs> a little bit of waste here on the first one, but that's alright. That's alright. Yeah, it's not putting any fertilizer down at the moment. Which I guess makes sense. We already did the uh, balancing for it, supposedly. Yeah, I'm not sure about this whole snap terrain angle stuff and all of that, what exactly that does. But, it seems to me it used to be different. You could shift the lines over, you could change the angles, do all of that stuff fairly easily, actually. Like, right from the menus. I don't even see the same menus there anymore that used to do that. Um... That's great. I can't even pull forward enough to get one line in, can I? Oh, it's just over the top. Cool. Alright, that should do it. That should do it. So let's get a headland down. weird sort of end of the field with its lovely variants and shapes <laughs> which is what we all like yeah alright just ignore all the fancy lines You know what I mean? If you'd even touch something <laughs> with that little bug-eared thing on there, that pushed the tractor back. Well, look at that. Half the length of the freaking cedar. <laughs> That's hilarious. And yet you see the AI hit something, and it just sort of bumps over the top of it. Like, oh, gee, don't worry about that. Sorry, hope it didn't hit you. You know, oh, come on. Although, I suppose... All things considered, I guess they deserve, uh, or at least require, all the help they can get. Alright, how well is this actually going to work out for me in here? suppose if you could drive species, it would have worked out just fine. Perfect. Beacon time. I'll be honest with you guys, I have actually thought about changing maps. I'm getting so frustrated with this whole system with these tearaway hedges. You know. Because for the amount of frustration they cause, because, it, it, like I say, it's not like running into something solid. That I can handle. It reacts the same every time. This does things like that. You know, where it glides over it, and then you can't get it back. 
<laughs> it just drives me nuts. You may have noticed. <laughs> Large amounts of nutness hanging in there. Alright. Let's unfold it again. Alright. Down you get. Let's uh, lock on to target and head up the field. I'll do a headland at the other end. And we're down to 90% of the fertilizer. So it must be throwing in the occasional little... Oh yeah, see, increasing nitrogen level to optimal value for corn. So yeah, every once in a while it does drop a little bit in there. Hmm. See, right now it's at a fairly steady pace. Well, that's alright. Seems to be doing its, uh, its thing. Well, that can only be a good sign. Now we'll have to do another uh, headland or two when we hit here. And I'd love to just let the AI go free and easy here and let them do this because it's going to be a long job, but... Come on. See, it wouldn't let me back up. It's not like that could possibly have passed on to the other side of the tree. Yeah, I don't know. That's a weird piece of gear, man. It's weird. It's not just magic science in there. It's got magic <laughs> physics going on for it. Well, I guess physics is a science, yeah, dummy. Alright. Let's fold you up. And let's, uh, raise this. We can lower it back down. I guess that's sort of what it was lining up with before. Hmm. I don't know. It looks to me like most of the fields are oriented the same way. I'm not sure what was uh, <clears throat> making it want to cant off at 30 degrees. 
Does it keep some alignment with the last field it was in or something? I don't know. Well, there is another way in right here, isn't there? Again, the grass doesn't really present much of a, a clue as you're coming up to it. So it's easy to miss. I said Sooty Farmer had a good, uh, a good fix for it. Just got out there and did a little bit of uh, creative painting. And, uh, yeah, worked out uh, exactly as one might want. Of course, his issue was when he'd opened his fence, when he opened his gates, they would disappear into the hedges. <laughs> so, yeah. And it was kind of odd because at the time... I was having the exact same issue, but in Vintage Story. They'd run a patch, and now all of a sudden, every time you opened a door, it would disappear into the wall. <laughs> but uh, they did fix it in the next patch. Whereas, I believe his, uh, his gates still go into the hedges. But at least you know where they are now, because they're nicely marked out. Yeah, the entire sections where no fertilizer at all is being used. Oh, there it goes. Finds a little bit and goes with it. Hmm. Oh. We shall see. Um. Don't mess it up. Indeed. Uh, which of these is actually... more powerful? Let's find out, shall we? What, oh, what's on, uh, what's that sale? Ooh, nice. That's really good price for that tractor. I see, it doesn't tell you which one you're getting. I assume you're getting the 325 horse. But yeah, that's a really good price. Hmm. What if... I wouldn't mind having a slightly big air tractor. Uh, 313 horse. Oh, okay. 263. Hmm. Oh well. I think we'll just keep what we have. That's actually a pretty good range for what we're doing. And this seems to be a pretty efficient tractor. Like I said, not like the... Uh, well, actually, what's the top end on this? 445. Hmm. Might almost be worth swapping it out for the John Deere, actually. It might be a little bit more... Uh, uh, we'd have to throw a ton of money into it, though. A ton of money. For sure. So I think we'll just uh, stick with the status quo, as it were. Okay. Zoom. There you go.
Jeez, this one looks as, from the inside, it looks to be the same color as the Lambo. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, see what I mean? There's not a lot of uh, indicator there that you're coming up on what you need. Hmm. Maybe. Whilst our dude with the drill is happily drilling away. something about that and because I've never had an original thought in my head I'm gonna do pretty much exactly what Sooty did uh, okay well, let's go into the p mode let's go here let's go here Let's go landscaping, let's go painting, let's pick something that's going to stick out well, but not ridiculous. I guess we'll go with uh, asphalt, that's asphalt, really? Animal mud. I, I can't help but feel they've um, reduced the amount of available Patterns, whatever the heck you call them. Skins, textures, textures, sure, textures works. Let's go to, uh, is it X that change? No, that's not what I wanted. What changes my shape? Jeez. Uh, v, that was it. Let's get something a little more circular here. Okay, that's better. At least you get a little bit of an indicator now that it's coming up, right? Sure, that works for me. And did I not also discover there was indeed another entry point? Somewhere, a small road. Good lord. Well, mind you, she's a big field. Here it is. Okay, well, this is right across from there, so we should be able to find that. Hello? Oh, there you are. Are you doing a good job, or what? Sure you are, huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you still got lots left. Managing the turns okay, not leaving any of them weird shapes at the end of the roads. Good man. Alright. Vroom. You know the drill. <laughs> Actually, you're rolling, so... The joke wasn't all it could have been. Yeah, you could feel that extra horse. There are the extra hundred horses this thing doesn't have that the John does. I'll give you that. Yeah, you sure can.
Damn, I'm not far enough over, am I? I don't know how it's going to feel about dragging it on the uphilly parts, but here it's okay. Why do these fields keep popping up stones? I've got stones turned off. So yeah, we better just push them back under the dirt. <laughs> oh, check it out. They've seeded the field next door. Cool. So how's he doing for seeds and stuff? Uh, 58% and 64%. Okay. Uh, I don't know that he'll have enough to finish it, but we'll keep our, uh, keep our eyes and ears open. <laughs> Look, I'm squishing the deer. There they are. I don't know. Uh, not sure what you've been feeding your deer, dude, but. <laughs> Stop it. Alright, well, I'm not going to be able to run a headland with this. good news is I am gonna miss the uh, post for once so I get to take it to the end anyway come on last roller there you go Whee! and It's not near as fun to go in that way. Woohoo! I think I'll only be able to manage one more line, then we're going to have to wait for this heater. So I think I'm going to call the episode here, guys. I do appreciate you spending some time with me today here on the lovely, lovely Maple Farm. Have yourselves a great one. Make sure you hit that like button. And ciao for now.